Moloeni, my name is Zahara, and you are watching In Her Voice right here on BET. Uh, my mom used to tell me, Uguti, I started singing when I was six, and uh, I became a leader of a Sunday school when I was six, and I uh, hired the senior choir when I was nine, and when I was 13, they made me a leader of a worship team because I was very shy. And then I didn't want to be a school choir, because there were a lot of people there, and at, at some point, I was thinking, Ish, they can't sing. Can't I, can't I tell them, no, this is not the key, this is not the altar, even though I never went to, um, to school for it. Then I ran away from the school choir. You know how teachers are. They're gonna go and go dig you from home. And then after that, there's a song I wrote, uh, which is Destiny. And at that time, it's when I, I passed my matric. And then my, my parents, they didn't have money to take me to tertiary. But because there was something in me that was telling me, my story has to be told. So I knew I was born for something. And actually now it's funny, but back then when I was a kid, it, uh, I used to cry. Because I bought my mama la next door, they used to say, I voice up, I can't get a And my teachers, they used to beat me because they want to be a choir. But guess what? Me running away from the choir, I became Zahara. But from your teaching, thank you so much. And this next one is for you.
from home when I was discovered to come to uh, Joburg. This is a Pichautin. This is a school in Mumbai. Suka, but Lalanga, I'm Abba. And then, but when I came, I remember I came with my tracksuit pants and my Popeye t shirt and written spinach, because tertiary they used to call me spinach, um, with my guitar, which, um, yeah, only my guitar and the small bag and my oysters. And when I came, it wasn't about me, I wasn't thinking TV, I wasn't thinking the radios or even the album. I was thinking, finally, people are going to hear my voice. People, they're going to hear my story. They can hear how I've been, I've been living. Maybe I can, I'll be helping someone else. Maybe So when I came, hey, I used to go with Mrs. Um, Ladangliz and all my fikis all. So I learned a lot from them, from her specifically. And when I came, and there was this girl, obviously from the village, spotlight, So I remember when Upu Tiki, when I went and I played Queen TV Tikasa's land. Hey, they said we want more. I'm like, I can look and can record. We want more. 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 We that's how nervous I was because now I'll be singing for people now. It's about time a story to be told to be told and to tell my story. And um, oh my god, that was a big thing in my life. And I opened for Shandaman to think people they were actually when I got off stage, they said that we want more, and she couldn't even come in until I came back again and sang uh, my songs before I even recorded. Sulle 
My God, coming to Joburg, thinking, and then I bought my house, and uh, that was a relief in my life because I knew my father and my mother were gonna be here. What's that? Don't get on. Alama, the job again. Um, Sunday, we figure out 2011. Yeah, things slowly went. Then I was just going to do it. So those are the first things that I did. But even everything that has happened when I got here, I'm, I was, I'm still happy, and I'm still happy. I can actually now make sure there's bread on the table for my mother, my father, my sisters, my brothers, and their kids, and their kids' kids. And I can actually build a shelter for my mother and my father. Before I came to Joburg, I didn't even have 50 rands on my bank account, and it was closed because of that. And now I have money. And then after I remember when I came, three months, after really slowly, everyone was saying, I'm broke, don't have a house, don't have a car. And I'm thinking to myself, I was a millionaire before. I'm broke from where? I was broke then. I came here broke. Uh, when I came here, I always kept quiet because I, kn I know myself and I know where I come from. And um, the person that always hold me down, my mom and my family, no Tito, and my support uh, supporters wherever I go. And I was like, hey, <laughs> Being the amber, Nazan and Don Babin Abolego Machonisman, being I will own sharks, being I is in the wind. Now you're telling me I'm broke. Where were you? It's not even about that. And at that time, I've already bought my house and I bought my car. No, my mom means a lean through the Batanga province, they were still busy building their house. So, but I was like, okay, my heart was really sore, like it's sore right now. Because I was thinking, I came here just to inspire. And the only thing you can get from all of that is that you don't see me driving my own car and you don't see my house. What about I came and I, as a record breaker, musically, I still have to break my own records till today. Uh, there were so many things. I remember when my brother passed on and he was gunned down. Nobody asked me how I got over that. The only thing people were busy saying, it was they felt like I've lost it. I'm losing it. And they're always talking about the sourcing, say, so say, so say. And I'm thinking, where are the facts and where is everything else? Because I was thinking of a nation that is going to say our daughter is grieving. What are we going to do about it? Not a nation when I'm grieving, they're trying to put me down. I felt like uh, I'm stepping on someone else's shoes by coming to Joburg and trying to tell my story. I remember 2014, I called my mother. And I told my mother, I'm coming back home. And then she was like, Who's out in the name of 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 the so, Umamati, so what's the problem now? It's not happening. And can't you see? I, I can't even go to the garage. Each and every paper and every magazine, they're uh, writing about hearsay. So, if it's that the case, I'm stepping on somebody else's shoes, let me go home. I know I've got cows 
I've got goats, I've got everything at home, and I've got people at the village that actually can appreciate me lifting them up, because at least I would have learned one or two if they want to, to embark on this industry. So Umama my mom says to me, or oh, you say at least they can learn one or two or things if they embark into this industry. So where now? What have you learned? So are you giving up? I'm like, Mama, it's not about giving up. But it's so sad when you try and come. The only thing I was expecting, people, no, oh, this is what she asked me. Are you here to be praised or to inspire? So I said, Mama, I'm here to inspire. What is so? If they are not praising you, who are you? If they did not praise Jesus Christ, why must they praise you? The, the very first man that came to die for them, they actually crucified him. So, what are you mad? So, not because of he said those words, but I remember something. If I go back home, what change am I doing? I'm still telling Abantu Anabaselalin, Uba, you can actually live your dream to a certain point, and then you can actually give up if times are hard. And I remember, I'm telling you, alcoholic, um, so many names have been named. Sources say, Zahara, in the house, this is what happens. Zahara, this is what happened. And they have no facts of everything. I deal with facts, like I always say, who writes about that I've got 39 awards? All in all, in six years. 17 summers in six years. I'm not talking about him go to the album now, now, this one that I have. Who talks about those things? Who talks about it? I sing for the legend. I was called by Tata Mandel. But to come to it, I was singing for him in his own room. Who talks about it? I was called by Simon Stein, the founder of Madonna in New York. Who talks about it? I won three awards in New York. Best Southern uh, female artist. Who talks about I'm the ambassador of the Mandela Children's Hospital? No. Who talks about the Zara Army, which is the project that I do from my own pocket, and I go to all these villages and I do all of that. But this is what they do. That's why I feel like I'm yet to see a nation that when we see one of our own is flourishing and we say, ah, king and dagandi. Sikunya, now we are here holding the flag. Than saying when that flag is being up, we are the one who are turning it down. Well, as I said that, it's not even about that. There's so many things that have been said. The candy booze, sometimes the one jam the morning sound. It's how do pick up our release and come in the resistance? And I went I went gold in six hours. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's because I'm not being played on, on, on everywhere. Maybe that's the reason why people, they are still asking Zahara for an album. So it's about corn. I'm still going to inspire those village girls because that's what I came for. I came to inspire and tell all those young girls, village girls, wherever you come from, you can do it. If God has done it with this girl, I picked up a guitar. I never went to school for a guitar. I can sing. I never went to school to sing. Till today, I don't even know which chords I am playing from the guitar, but I play, I play from the heart. That is called the gift. Like the Bible says, there's so many are called and few are chosen. Each and every young girl, village girl, who has the dream. Listen, you'll see the video, you'll hear and you'll see what I'm talking about. The song is called Umtwalo. That's for you. Umtwalo wo muyadisi da Handi akelandi patise Ululi santa sako and funu gufana na bani gazela
At the long last, I'm just thinking, when I say the long last, not even a long last, because it's just six years in the industry, and I feel old already. <laughs> but um, I'm in that happy moment, in that happy mood, I'm in that happy space. I'm in that space, when I say happy space, obviously, happiness is not about somebody bought you a chocolate and gave you a million rand. Is that that space where you wake up in the morning and you're like, I'm looking forward to today to tackle whatever comes. And if anything happens, obviously there's so many things that will make you angry, that will make you frustrated and whatever. But the head space right now, I have grown. I'm this woman right now. I've got whoever thought the village girl would actually own a record label, which is called MLH. And to top it all, John Ventures with Warner Music. And guess what? What God did? My mentor. I'll say my mentor, even though I haven't met her, Tracy Chapman, 
She signed under Warner Music. So there can be a possibility of collaboration there because we're both musicians there now. So to think God has opened that door for me. Um, and now I'm in that space where I know I can tackle anything because I'm that rock that holds myself. I'm that kind of a woman because and as women, we're born strong. Obviously, I would love to actually thank people because of where you come from, your village. I believe it's because of my family, my sisters, my brothers, my mom, my tatam, my friendship. My and my sisters, we're friends, and my brothers, each and everyone. Um, sometimes it's so hard even for us, my is show me outside the box, which is outside the family, because we are so, so many. Um, my mom, like I said, it show me am. Uma mama go yon fundi sile yon kinto jengen tomba zanengi. Jise umtu anansa kula notata amutata am gave me strength to believe in myself. I remember gutata am I always felt like I'm sali sapans. I think that was 20, 2012 when I was here in Joburg. The last couple of months did that. We asked about going kula nan kumba we no bound hand. We are busy kengo gutata yen hango ba. Did it because. When if we are in common, if we are banam, if we are zale, if we are swandim, if we are working, if we are swandim, no mama, my mother was a domestic worker. So holidays, during holiday school, also I'm banam, so don't clean it, sapena, sapena, in my kitchen. So I felt like, why me? So now I understand, because they didn't want to lose what's here today. They saw it when I was still a child. They are bullying my mama now with that, and um, to my siblings and my friends. Oh no, Jebo. Oh, oh no, we. Oh, he don't know what's the My brother Junior, Umeya, my cousin. I remember each and every day. So that's what I saw. Okay, so I learn. I'm a pupa way to each and every day. And then again, that's what God has here, all of us. Uh, to come to my mom and my and my dad. I'm thinking musically now. Oh, my mom, better no mamela. Tracy Chapman, Jonah Matrading. Mama Rebecca Malope, uh, Sis Brenda Farsi, uh, Mama Maria Keba, uh, Opu de Ringo, uh, old school. I guess that's why I have it also because Ben Sala Nabo. I guess the Yandi Boom Balon, that, that's why I guess maybe Bavuselele in doing a paga to Guam. What was inside me because I'm a soulful person and I'm also, and I believe whatever you are today, you were born with it, but it's a matter of time when it's gonna bloom. So what they did, they watered what is inside of me because of that music. Uh, because today, Tracy Chan, Tournament Trading, says Rebecca Malope. <clears throat> and um, our piece, R. Kelly, that's the first song I started playing, Storm Is Over, with my guitar, with nobody taught me how to play. And I would thank TK and Lisa for, giving me, for discovering me, giving me the opportunity for people to hear my story. And thank Uusis Tlantlana and Lisa for sharing her house with me when I came. And for all of them for teaching me DJ Smoo, um, Jakes, my producer. Oh my God, they are not just um, Abantu music, they are family. And uh, but everywhere I go, Banin Zabantu, Abontando, Banin Zabantu, Banana Bobantu Kutahaze, more special U Professor. I remember I even called him um, Big Brother because when I came here, my first gig, Professor was there. And Professor, yo, every time when you will see me, Uzo Salapans, I send you John again on time. But, but, um, and but they played a big role in my life as a horror. I'm gonna come to Robbie Malinga. That's a father to me. And, um, oh my word. I, I can't think when I came 2010 till today, each and every step of the way, he was there. So whatever memory that I have in this industry is with him. And every time we do a song, it's like, oh God. 
He lets me do what I want to do. We are Diego, I chamba, I'm begging up a good booth. And sometimes at Zar, if you want to do Namjad, but there was a number of three games this game like I am and so around the Wednesday album, young and I'm clanch. At one gentleman, Dalu, come on, go men up. Oh, God, I miss him now. And then I'll tell him, take me behind the booth. I'm going to freestyle, take it now, and then I'll write later. So that's the kind of relation we had. Because besides that, um, a father and a daughter. The sense that says, well, I'm fast working. I'm not going to buy as many pixies. If I'm not going to buy as many pixies, I'm going to buy as many pixies. 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 I'm and uh, the Kumbulasi Palalang on my bendy wrong. That's it, bad actually. Basically, we started to break from a um, studio. So, say about Teta Bakok Lang, about Fazi, about Fazi. Sometimes I would go to one below your cheetah, ton 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 ton, yeah, but sometimes Uzambe and Chomi was swell up to the corner, and then you could come back home. You come back in the morning, now you know. The wife is going to think you cheated, because you were not cheating. Just that you were watching soccer with your boys. So, I mean, I came in for women. We were just having a conversation. So I say, eh, well, we might be wrong, but it depends the kind of reputation you built around the person for them to actually say that. So that's the song how we came about, uh, Benjo Rongo. And um, I have lost not only a producer, a father, a friend, my comedian. Uh, I don't know. Oh, God, I might have lost, but um, I know the wife and the kids, they have, and, uh, and everyone else, the whole music industry, they all have lost.
love, now I'm embarking in, on a tour. But first, I want to thank the Mandela family for choosing me to... Um, I remember when I played for Utata, Tata Mandela Ekunu, when he called me to go and play. I did not believe it that Utata actually called me. And when I went and played for Utata, and this is what he said. Uh, I mean, I finished playing in his bedroom, Noko. And then this is what he said. Uh, Zaha, you are a special girl. And South Africa has a blast to have you. And may your stars upon you. May they shine. And wherever you go, may you represent. And I was like, I'm done. I'm blessed. What more do I need? And then that's when I wrote the song Nelson Mandela. And then now, I'm going to go represent. I'm, I'm back on a tour representing that, that Nelson Mandela in the UK. And then I'm gonna do a tour again in Toronto, um, representing you guys. And it's such an honor that I was chosen by the people in the UK to represent Tata Mandela. And even in Toronto, and I'm gonna come back. There's so many things that are happening in my life. And there's so many things that are planning that are yet to be discovered.
Alala, Dabulela Betunane, thank you so much for joining me and her voice on BET and for listening Il Islam to my voice and listen to my story. I hope you find your story in my story and find your voice in my voice. Bye bye.